It's a beautiful spring evening here in Manchester, New Hampshire, as we wrap up the East Regional Final of the 2019 NCAA Division II Men's Basketball Championship. It's the St. Thomas Aquinas College Spartans taking on the host, the St. Anselm College Hawks. Welcome inside Stoutenberg Gymnasium, everyone, alongside Nick Anastos, Ben Alcher here with you. Nick, St. Thomas Aquinas, St. Anselm, these two teams have had a hard road to get to this regional final. Survive and advance, that's the name of the game. St. A's able to fend off New Haven three different times to hang on to a one point win in the semis. And of course, St. Thomas, the comeback kids, down double digits in both games of this tournament, still alive and breathing here in the final round. Three guards starting group with Chris Paul and Gustav Suryesen, the two front court players. Paul wins the tip back to Suryesen. The crowd roars, and we are underway in the East Regional Final. Yes, in, but a little bit of nerves maybe early on. Cameron Morrell buries a deep three. The lone senior of the rotation for the Spartans. In the second half, it becomes a struggle. We saw Dominican commit five turnovers in the backcourt in the second half of that semifinal. So, yes, in decent look, buries a three. Well, this kid elevated his game in the semifinal win over New Haven. Lynch, the bounce pass, looking for the backdoor cut. Gears comes up with a steal. Gears fakes the pass, takes it himself. So good in the open floor, Ben, in their previous two wins. Here's Caraballo. He's a danger in the low post. Strong as an ox, yeah. and he finishes well, too. So polished down there, too, Ben. Jamar Sudan with five to shoot. Charges in, puts it up high off the glass, and Gears gathers up the rebound. Quick push, Evans doesn't have numbers. He attacks anyway and lays it in. Using that length, able to split the defenders and score with the right hand. And the Hawks, after forcing a stop, showing you that they can get out and run the floor. Gears wants it in the low post on Griffith. He backs him in. Gears up and under, dishes it. Paul puts it up and in. Eight nothing run for St. Hayes. On the offensive end right now. Ball on the move, pull up, finds it. First bucket for Cody Ball after a slow start with Morell in his face. Ball gets around Lynch and hits a tough floater. Spartans trying to amp up the defense here. Tension turns the corner, slips, but scores anyway. Yeah, got to have backside help there. Looking for options. Tension comes to get it. Drive and drop. Sir Yesen, Gears. Griffith harassing him. Gears. Finds Jackson underneath for the jam. That's what he can do, Ben. He can rise off the floor. A lot of hype around this kid coming in last year as a freshman. Kiss the rim, big fella. Look at this. All the way upstairs. Flush that thing down with authority. Ball off the swing. Buries a three. Again, Ben, when he's able to get square, he's one of the best pure shooters in the country. So far tonight, both struggling a little bit. Roberts with just four points, Caraballo, two. Gears, a three. Another quick push, Evans hands to Gears. Caraballo jumps out to deny the three. Gears drives at him and hits off the window. Tough finish for Gears. Oh, for St. Thomas Aquinas. Here's Paul going at the bigger Caraballo. No problem. Able to score it with the right hand. A Little bit of contact there as well. As he drives, stripped. Sir Yesen tees up a three and hits. Sometimes that's all it takes to open up the floodgates. Got a layup on the previous trip. Confidence is back. Nobody challenges on the wing. Right in rhythm, nothing but net. A free throw yet in this game. Ball left open, buries it. Yeah, you got to challenge him. And that's the bat, That's the downside of the press. Hawks had numbers once the ball was in in the front court and ball had plenty of time. Roberts rejected by Gears. Ball saves it. Hawks on the run. Evans, Gears, fakes the three, finds the trailer. Ball. Oh, my. Get it to you, baby, as Dick Vitale would say. Timeout St. Thomas. Hawks have been doing it in transition all night long and none prettier than that three-pointer by Cody Ball. 30-point bulge, Ben Alger. 
No choice for Tobin Anderson. Check out the save and the excellence of execution on the fast break. Yeah, Evans no problem leading the break. Gears does the smart thing. Waits for a better shot to present itself. Ball is the trailer, fills his spot well. And the two seniors, they know exactly what time it is. And they know exactly where each other are on the floor. Pretty much everything well when you break down the tape and take a look back at this one. Very few mistakes. Singleton buries an open three. Hands off to Paul. Backing in on Sudan. Chases to the rim. Count it. Plus one. Chris Paul. He's going to be a beast next year, Ben, as a junior. Stated outright that this was their goal from the beginning. And they are officially 159 from achieving that goal. Everybody on their feet saluting the two Hawks seniors. Keith Dixon getting hugs as well. And I don't think he could be any happier for those two guys. No. Well, well, well deserved. There's a couple of guys there. Coach Faison, he's been here 14 years. Singleton with a nifty blow by there. Timeout taken by Keith Dixon. He wants to get the rest of his regulars out of the game. Tension, getting the crowd back into it. Sir yes and Paul coming off the floor. All smiles for Keith Dixon. Well deserved. Been doing this a long, long time. 33 years and frankly, I don't think I've seen that kind of emotion from him. Just unadulterated joy from the sideline. For just the second time in school history, the St. Anselm Hawks are elite. The Hawks are headed to Evansville and they will be part in the Elite Eight next week. Dance circle already forming in the middle of the floor as Keith Dixon first through the handshake line. Full credit to the St. Thomas Aquinas team, the Spartans end the year 25 and seven. A young group, clearly a resilient group, Nick, and they, uh, they will be heard from again probably yeah. in the next few years oh, to come. Oh, yeah. yeah, they'll probably be back in the NCAA tournament next year as well with given the amount of, of guys coming back, led, of course, by Dimitri Roberts, the outstanding point guard. So the future is bright for the Spartans, but right now the moment belongs to St. A's. Well-deserved, Coach Dixon said, a long time coming in terms of hosting the regional, and they proved it. They were the one seed, the best team in the Northeast. Disappointing quarterfinal loss in the Northeast 10 tournament, but all that is out the window now as they head out to the Midwest for the Elite Eight. Well. From Sanderson College, number three, Most Good work all weekend long by everybody here in Manchester. Once again, my name is Ben Ultra. The final score for the final time from Manchester, St. Anselm onto the Elite Eight, a 74-49 win over St. Thomas Aquinas.